Seated with us uh, in this very important occasion, uh, Minister of State, General Dr. B.K. Singh Saab, Secretary Civil Aviation, Mang Sahib, our representatives from Airbus, Remy Malad, and uh, Thierry Klute, the gentleman who has in many ways pioneered very complex aerospace manufacturing in India. Our very own entrepreneur, who's now the CEO and MD of Dynamatics, but started it as really something that was his passion. Udayant Malhotra ji, Piyush Srivastav ji, my senior economic advisor in the ministry, and all my friends in the media. Today really is uh, a golden letter day in the journey of civil aviation in India. Today is a day that on not only marks the coming together of the largest aviation manufacturer in the world in the form of Airbus, along with our engineering prowess in India in the form of Dynamatics Technologies, but it also marks in many ways what has come to be in terms of India becoming a destination for aerospace manufacturing across the world. The largest export order for aircraft doors being given to a company that is already well ensconced in the portfolio of Airbus as one of their accomplished ancillary units, Dynamatics Technologies, already manufacturing a number of products for Airbus and other manufacturers. And this is the second order of aircraft doors in India. The first order was given to Tata Advanced Systems for the A320 and now for the A220. All doors being made by our very own Indian manufacturer. In many ways, this is a testament to the resolve that the Prime Minister has always had. The resolve of Atmanirbhar Bharat, the resolve of Make in India, and the story of Dynamatic Technologies is a testament to that fact. So to Airbus, I would say, this is the right time to be in India. This is the right time to invest in India. As India makes her journey from Amrit Kal to Shatabdi Kal. Airbus is no stranger to India. It's one of the leaders in the aerospace business that has always believed in India. And this is a part of Airbus's journey in India. As Remy said, they already export $750 million worth of manufactured parts from India, growing this to $1.5 billion, doubling it in the next year or so. But along with procurement from Indian firms, procurement from India, Airbus has invested a lot in developing the human resource talent and potential in India as well. From a management center that has been, India Information Management Center that's been set up to Airbus India Innovation Center, to a pilot training center. There's been a tremendous investment both in technology transfer as well as human resource development in India by Airbus. We too, from a governmental perspective, are growing the human resource talent. We've doubled the number of FTOs. Last year, we've 
need, reached a new height of 1,100 commercial pilot licenses that we have given out. And we are very committed along that path of developing the HR potential within India. Airbus, today, there is not a single aircraft or helicopter in its fleet. I'm proud to say that does not have a component that is made in India. And that is a huge testament. Not only has Airbus sourced components from India, but it's really put its foot forward and planted it firmly on Indian soil with the two FALs, the final assembly lines, one for the C-295 aircraft and now the H-125 accrual uh, helicopter based in Vadodara. So on this day, I'd like to congratulate both Dynamatic Technologies, that is a symbol of Startup India, a symbol of Make in India, a symbol of an entrepreneur that had real passion for aerospace and civil aviation, as well as congratulate Airbus as it goes along its journey in terms of really planting itself firmly on Indian soil through the sourcing of products from India, through taking our human resources to their potential, and in that process, getting a huge value addition to its product as well. So congratulations to both parties, and I wish you all the best as you walk down this journey of cementing ties between India and France, India and the cutting edge of technology, India and the opportunity that she represents on the world stage in a journey from 2024 to 2047. Thank you very much.